Or you and I are here this morning because God has given us activity to our bodies. Yes, the work that you with us. We're going to talk about the biblical language of grace. Okay. Give is the language of grace. For God so loved the world that he gave. Yes. What did he give? <coughs> His only son. Mm -hmm. And whoever believes, okay. listen there, whoever or whosoever believes in him should not, not perish, perish. but have everlasting life. That phrase should not, it's a subjunctive mood in grammar. Conjunctive mood means a mood of possibility. That's right. It's possible that one can perish. Mm -hmm. Possible that one <clears throat> cannot perish. <coughs> Excuse me. Cannot perish, so it says should not. And that case is found many times in the Bible. Good enough. We're going to use two scriptures to keep in your mind, but two scriptures is enough to carry us all, all week and all month. Mm -hmm. Because we have the Bible, it does not mean that there are persons will to receive God's will because it is, it is a spiritual revelation. Since we're living in a world of, <clears throat> of philosophy, there are two kinds of wisdom. There's a wisdom that comes from above by revelation. And there's a wisdom from below. James talks about the two. The one from below is uh, devilish. The one from above is uh, truly the revelation from God. Every believer should seek, through revelation, God's will. If you and I don't, what we do, we would build a righteousness of our own. That's what the Jews were doing. Paul had to address his own brethren. And he says, Romans 10, my prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record. That they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. They're going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. And then he, he tells us what the righteousness of God is in Scripture. He says, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. To the Jew first and also to the Greeks and to the Gentiles. So what we're going to do, we're going to have prayer. And Brother Dean, you lead us in prayer? Okay. Then we'll yes. go. Okay. Give Brother Meadows a chance to get in. He's coming out. Okay, I'll just okay. go ahead and get go through. Ahead. Go ahead. Father in heaven, thanks for giving us the strength uh, to come together this morning uh, to study your truth. Ask that you give us all a clear mind that we can understand the lesson and the scriptures uh, that are being presented to us. We ask that you watch over our brothers and sisters on their way to the building, and we ask that you strengthen the sick and shut in. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Two scriptures, first scriptures, Romans chapter 15.
Matthews? Question. Yes. Um, the scripture you read in the beginning about um, us not carrying and being a conjunction. Subjunction. Sub subjunction. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, that is, is that based on Christ or is it based on us? When it says shall not, is it based on something based on that our we faith. have to do? Yes. Or we have to believe? Or? See, the whole system of, of the trust is based on faith. Okay. Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Mm -hmm. The gospel is all about Christ. But it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes. Mm -hmm. To the Jew first. Also to, uh, to the Greeks. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Revealed. Revelation. From faith to faith. To faith. As it is written... <clears throat> The just or the righteous shall live by faith. So then, faith comes by hearing. By hearing. Word. So our faith must be based on the written revelation. Mm -hmm. If it's not, then human beings will develop their own righteousness. Mm -hmm. and, and the Bible talks about that. Jesus, first, well then, in, in Luke, he's, he states the parable, he says, the parable was to those who trusted in themselves that they were righteous. Mm -hmm. See, who trusted in themselves that they were righteous, right. despising others. That's what self-righteousness does. Mm -hmm. It will despise others and say, look at me. But see, under the gospel, it's not look at me, it's look at Christ. Mm -hmm. but first, look at God and see what God has done in Christ for us. See, Christ, he died for what? Our sins. Our sins. He had no sin. He was buried. And this is what the resurrection is about. He rose for our justification. That's a, a big word, <laughs> justification. What it simply means is that God gives us righteousness. He lays it to our account. But it's not our righteousness. It's the righteousness, it's the righteousness of, Christ of Christ laid to our account. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's why the gospel... And they use words like this, imputed. What is imputed if you don't understand? We all understand, I guess we understand. If you have lived long enough, uh, you might have an, uh, a credit account. Hey, uh, it's just that when you, when you hear that, when you hear what you said, if, you, if it's not followed up with what you're saying now, it makes one wonder, like, well, excuse me. <laughs> what is that bit. based on? Excuse so, me. When you when you make the statement that you made, the scripture you read, and you don't go into what you're saying now, it makes one want to know, well, what is that based on? Certainly. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. It just helps, you know. I know there is, is something that I have to do, and that is to have faith. And then by having faith, it's going to make me do what I need to do. Yeah. It's a, see, human beings are, need to understand that we respond uh -huh. to God's gift. Uh, okay. Yes. But it was currently event. You know, certain stores have layaway plans during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Well, the, those who had layaway plans paying for it, someone went in, out of the goodness of their heart, took care of all the layaways paid. When the person come in, mm -hmm. somebody took care of it. They don't know who it was. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they took care of it. What was that? Just the grace of giving. And that's what God did when you think about it. He took what Jesus did on the cross, dying for us, and then those who believe, he lays it to their account. That's why justification is a righteousness that God declares. So you can't work it out. It's impossible for us to work it out because we're sinners. We can't justify ourselves before God. It's impossible. But self-righteousness, uh, uh, the thoughts of self-righteousness are different. 
the Jews are trying to justify themselves before God by works. Well, my dear, I was just thinking another way to look at it is we had a debt uh, to pay, uh, and that debt was our debt mm -hmm. uh, because of our sin. That's right. But Christ that. paid the debt for mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. uh, just like someone paid the layaway yeah. right. for those folks. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. That's a but uh, uh, the person, the human being, must respond to that. If you that, that's if right. can't see it, they reject it. Right. That, and they say, I can do it myself. Mm -hmm. That's the world. And that's the key. That's, that's the what key. I was talking about. Right. You know, it's something. We need to know that we need to respond and do something, yeah. not just that um, we will perish or we, we may perish. Okay, somebody said you may have some money. Well, I want to know why. <laughs> I may have it and I may not have it. Yeah. I want to yes. know so I'll know what I need to do. So what I need to do is respond. That's right. So that's why teaching, that's why teaching of the gospel is ongoing, the spiritual. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I got it. No, yeah, you, you, you know, have, to, have to really That's think right. about so the dance right. prayed that our minds might be Absolutely. to receive. Yeah. How are you done? Well, oh, well, this, all right, I'm going to teach you now. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Amen, Brother Matthews. That's yeah. right. Yeah. To help him. And the spirit is what helps me because a lot of times I go into that book and I, you know, mm -hmm. I had to pray about it to understand what I'm reading, and it's the Holy Spirit does guide me and help me because sometimes I I don't get it. So thank you. The barrier that we probably have is it. First of all, it's a language barrier because the, we we reading a translation from another language. The New Testament is written in Koine Greek. Our language is not Koine Greek. Our language is English. Yeah. Well, it don't always even, be the language. Even English is broken as that. <laughs> <laughs> so we, I mean, so we, put the, we have a barrier. So yeah. therefore, we have to study. Yeah. We have AIDS, study AIDS. That's and thank right. God he give us study AIDS. And some reject study AIDS. Yeah. I don't believe that. Well, you do. But Matthews, it don't always be the language for me. It may be the frame of mind I'm in. You know, you when you reading something, the spirit helps you be in the right frame of mind. It don't always be the language. Well, I'm just saying, you still have a language. But I barrier. know there is a language barrier because when I reading. went to school, when I first started going to school as a child, a little child, I had to learn different languages and I had to learn the verb, the subject, all those things. So that was a problem. But with this, is different. What makes it different? It's different because I have to be mentally, spiritually in the right frame of mind to get and understand stuff because sometimes I read that. If I'm not, I'm not going to understand it. Well, it's, it's, I've seen the difference, mm -hmm. so I can only speak for myself. Yes. Maybe it's different for others, but for me, I know that the Holy Spirit helps me because I'll go and read something, then I'll go back and read that same thing and get mm -hmm. a very clearer understanding. Yeah. So I know that the Holy Spirit guides me and helps me understand this book. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, that is my testimony. I believe you said it's my testimony. That's right. <laughs> That's my testimony. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's, let's go to the book. Now, I want you to listen to the Apostle Paul, how Apostle Paul was a very learned man. As far as the world is concerned, he was a learned man. He was probably the other, but the world considers at a PhD level. Okay. Um, more than that. When he met Christ, Master Builder. You know what he said? He says, all that stuff, all that learning I had, I counted all mm -hmm. dung. You know what dung is? North Carolina, we know where dung is, right? Flush it mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Any of you from the land have been on the farm? Yes. You know where dung is, right? Flush Cow dung, <laughs> pig, yeah. right? Yes. Paul says, I counted all dung, dung that I might win Christ. Mm -hmm. Listen, yeah, listen, I, that I may win Christ and to be found in Him. Mm -hmm. Listen to Him carefully. Not having mine own righteousness, mm -hmm. which is by law, but I want the righteousness which is in Christ through faith. Now, you, we hear that, but uh, do we grasp what he's saying? I try to grasp the spirit of uh, 
what the apostle is trying to get. He's trying to get it across to us Gentiles. It's not easy. You think it's easy, but it's not. You have to keep thinking about it. It takes all of our lifetime to uh, receive what God has given. You think you got it? You have to work at it. This is why. This is why we have Sunday school and Bible schools. This is why we have the assembly of the church. Yes. You know what the assembly is? But say, cannot assemble yourselves as a matter of some. That's there, right? But what comes before? No, you tell us exhorting one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exhorting one another so much more yeah. to see today. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So we come to help one another. Right. Amen. I'm helping out your testimony. I hope you help uh, my testimony. But it's very important that we build it from the from the what's written. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm going to use two scriptures here today. Keep in mind, we, we understand give. And I said, give is the language of grace. Listen to Paul. Listen to him carefully. He's going to give his testimony. 15th chapter of Romans. Please to remember, 15th verse. Listen to what he says. Paul is ready. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort, as putting you in mind, because of the grace that is given to me of God. See? Paul says, I have a grace that's given to me of God. That's a different. Uh, human beings talk about the grace they have. We talk about the grace. Look at doing this. Grace has an idea of beauty. And ice skating is what I like to use. A person on ice skates. Have you ice skated? No one tried. Foot go this way and one back that way. But you see a person who is graceful at it, feet stay together, they can do a figure eight. That's the card. And come out of it. We say, oh, we're applauding. And we say that person did it so graceful. In other words, he went into that awkward figure and didn't fall. Right. And we know we can't can hardly stand up. <laughs> you have to understand, get the contracts. I'm trying to stand up on them, mm -hmm. let alone glide along. Grace. It's a, it is, a, you think about what Paul is saying. What did he say about grace? What did he say? Do you remember? Grace that is given. To me, of God. this is the grace that comes from God. Mm -hmm. That's what the Holy Spirit is all about in our life. The Holy Spirit is producing in your life and mind what we can't produce ourselves. That's right. No one here can produce a God paid love on his that's his right. or own. It's impossible. Amen. And the reason it's impossible, that's what we have to emphasize. The reason it's impossible, love a God paid is a fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Yeah. And if I can produce it, then I don't need the Spirit. That's right. That's, Amen. After they turn it around. All right, let's go again. Paul says, grace that is given to me of God. Paul wrote these epistles by God's grace. God gave him the grace. He accepted the grace of God. He talks about the grace of God. Let's go to another passage of scripture to the Corinthian letter. I draw another point about this grace of giving. First Corinthians chapter one. I want to start from verse one and verse four is the thought that I want to bring to our attention. <coughs> Listen, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Listen to the Apostle Paul. Beginning at verse 1. Paul <clears throat> called to be. Listen to it. Called to be. An Apostle of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Notice what he says now. I'm called to be an Apostle of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch it carefully. Through the will of God, right. and Sustan, he's our brother. Yes. Now he goes on to say, unto the church of God, which is at Corinth. Yes. 
Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Uh, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints. saints. With all that in every praise place call upon the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, both theirs and ours. You see, it? see it? Both theirs and ours. All right, look at the next verse. Under the gospel, what comes to you and me is grace. Grace be unto you and peace. But notice now, from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. See, see you hear the language you're giving? Give. All the way through the Bible. The Old Testament, God is giving. All right? Look at verse 3. Or verse 4, rather. Watch Paul. I thank God. See, when we understand the gospel, the thanks goes to God mm -hmm. and to Jesus Christ. I thank God, my God, always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You hear? Mm -hmm. What is Paul giving thanks for? On our behalf. Well, why is he giving thanks on our behalf? For the grace of God was given to you. By Thank you. Very For the grace of God. Which is given you. Which is given. Yes. Right. Language Jesus of grace. Mm -hmm. Which is given you by Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Once you and I understand that, <coughs> that would change our whole character. Mm -hmm. If you have any idea or anything in mind about self-righteousness, that's out the window. That's right. For your thinks and my thinks must be put. Look at what God has done. You can make it personal for me in Christ. Not look at what I've done. I, I work so hard. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to get this together. I'm trying to get it together. Stop working so hard. See, it's, had, it's in the revelation. God has given you and me the Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do? Now, one thing the Holy Spirit does, uh, the sanctifying grace that goes on in our lives is done through the Holy Spirit. Yes. You can, you can hear Paul all the way through his gospel. The Philippians, he says. Mm -hmm. Philippians, I believe, is two. Mm -hmm. Work out your own salvation. Mm -hmm. With fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Watch it now. If you put a period there, you mess it up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For it is God That's that right. works in you yes. both to will That's right. and to do of his good pleasure. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> So, so that's the words of grace. The words of grace is God is at work in you and me. Mm -hmm. You don't understand that? We build some self-righteousness. Look at what I done. I tried hard. And you hear it. I hear it in testimony of so many churches. They're trying so hard mm -hmm. and they're struggling us. I said, well, oh, if they understood the gospel, I have to do all that. Yes. Moaning and groaning. He's giving thanks. Look what God yes. has done. Thank yes. God for what he has done. And then you can... Say, so I thank God for the revelation that's given and I understand through Scripture. Mm -hmm. Makes all the difference in the world. Beloved, it makes all the difference in the world. When we live by faith in the gospel. And keep in mind, uh, great, the grace of God mm -hmm. produces in you boldness to stand firm in the truth of the gospel. Yes. You and I don't have any boldness of our own, but the boldness that we have comes through the revelation of the gospel. Amen. That is, once you and I understand the gospel, then boldness, you don't have to work it up. You don't mm -hmm. have to work up in any dynamics. The dynamics is through the power of the word. Yes. So grace is what? It is a gift. Yes, it's a gift. Amen. From God. Yes. Amen. Keep in mind what Paul is saying. It's a gift. <coughs> See? Keep in mind, I thank God always mm -hmm. on your behalf mm -hmm. for the grace of God, which is, here's the emphasis, given you mm -hmm. by Jesus Christ. Yes. See, yeah, it's, see, there's a certain place you have to emphasize, otherwise you don't get it. Yeah, yeah. And I That's emphasize, right. you hear me emphasize, given. For God so loved the world that he gave mm -hmm. 
his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him sh should not perish. I see, at a certain point, you got to strike him. Mm -hmm. and sometimes, when folks don't understand the grammar, you have to even explain the grammar of the scripture. You say, well, hey, I don't have yes, even in your own language, you have to understand grammar. Amen. Try to write something and follow the grammar. I remember I had to write contracts. I had to make sure that that grammar was certain. If it didn't, we use terms like a contract to shell. Mm -hmm. Do this and do that. Then we had to put in, if not, then such and such a thing will happen. You have to write it. Well, if I had no grammar, <laughs> I might be given a contract to, well, it's your choice. You can do it if you please. If you don't want, just do it as you please. No. I said the contractor shall do this as well. So the language is, is very important. The language, especially the grammar of the language. Those who don't think it's important, then they're still struggling. They struggle all, all their lives. You struggle in your own, in your own, uh, your own setting, not understanding. I know when we read, you want to read with understanding. The line of work you're working at, you certainly have to read with understanding. Mm -hmm. okay, right? No doubt. You know, yes, there's laws there. You have to understand the laws, otherwise, you can mislead the folk <coughs> in, in business if you don't understand. All right. Listen to Paul again. Brother Matthew. Yes. I'm sorry. You did mention that. Paul was a learned man, but he still relied on the Holy Spirit and God to guide him. Well, that's after he received the revelation. Yeah. yeah. Before he received the revelation, he was in, Paul was in himself. Yeah, he was in himself. So you have to listen to him. He testifies how he was in himself. That's mm -hmm. right. But he was a learned man. Oh, he was he learned. As far as the world was right. concerned. Mm -hmm. right. As far as religion is concerned, he was learned. Mm -hmm. Because he was... He, he hear him testify, I was brought up in the Jews' religion. That's mm -hmm. right. Above many my own, equal in my own nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, listen to what he said, be more exceedingly zealous. Mm -hmm. What are you zealous of, Paul? Of the tradition of the fathers. That's right. That's what he was in. Which, which basically means that in his learnedness, he did not know God that well. That's he didn't right. 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 And until he knew God. He's trying to get us to see that. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. spiritual, see. It's not, Easy to see, but yeah. he, he, but he, not he, he until, him. but mm -hmm. not until he knew God, he knew how to help us. Yeah, worldly knowledge, right? Yeah, that's why he keeps talking but about. But not him. until. That's why he keeps talking about grace. Yes. yes. Yeah. What was Romans fifteen fifteen? Mm -hmm. Romans fifteen fifteen. You don't have to go from scripture. Well, on that. Grace. Give you get it. Romans fifteen fifteen again. You listen. Have to listen to him. Uh, go, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we are found for. Oh my God. Oh, Corinthians 15. I'm sorry. I messed up, Oscar. Let's see. 15, 15. The Nevertheless, brethren, you have read more bold into some sort. Of put you in mind because oh, Corinthians is given to me of God. Romans 15, 15. 15, 15. 15, 15. 15. I'm staying in two scriptures. Yeah. 15, 15. Uh, 15, 15. What does Paul say again? Yeah, uh, Nevertheless, brethren, mm -hmm. I have written. The more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of God. See? See? That's right. Given See, of God. Now, Paul was a learned man. Yeah. Set under the feet of Gamaliel in religion. Yeah. Okay? But when he received the revelation of Christ, mm -hmm. it was no more I. Mm -hmm. That's what he Paul said. No more I. Mm -hmm. No more I, but Christ mm -hmm. lives in me. Yes. Mm -hmm. See, how really get it. Yeah. And the life that I now live, what he's saying, I'm still in the flesh. Mm -hmm. I live by what? Son of Faith God. in the Son of God who, who loved me, loved me and gave himself, and gave himself, gave himself for me. For me. Right. He didn't say, I do not frustrate the grace of God. Mm -hmm. For if righteousness come by law, he's going back to his former life, mm -hmm. then Christ died in vain. Right. Brother Matthew, I was thinking about uh, this earlier today that uh, we can take our gift uh, from God that we all have and use it for good or use it for bad. Yes. So, Listen to what he says about the gospel of Christ. He, he said, 
the Lord God appeared to Abram. And he told Abram, in thy in thee shall all nations of the earth be blessed. And he says to thy seed. And Paul, he grasps the language. Mm -hmm. Then he interprets as in the New Testament. He says, Paul says, he didn't say to Abraham and to thy seeds, is the promise. He said to thy seed, which is singular. Now if he didn't understand English, how would he come? He wouldn't even think about doing that. So he took his learnedness and, and used it in the gospel. Yes. He said, he said, for God foreseeing that he would justify the Gentiles through faith, mm -hmm. preach, listen, preach before the gospel unto Abraham. Mm -hmm. He said, well, preaching the gospel to Abraham? The gospel didn't come into Acts 2. Mm -hmm. See, see, see. Mm -hmm. see? And I listen to scripture. Mm -hmm. People don't listen to scripture. See, once a, a certain thing is put in your mind, you don't see the whole picture, yeah. panoramic view of the picture, you don't get it. Yeah, you stay within that rule of mold. What about James, Brother Matthews? James was not a learned man. Who said he wasn't? He had gave one of the... Who said he wasn't? What was James? He was an apostle of Jesus Christ. Yeah, but where did that knowledge come from? Revelation. Oh, right. That's the point I'm making. <laughs> okay. That's the point I'm making. I didn't know where you were you going. Could not be, you don't have to be a learned person to to get the, for well, God to give you the grace and the spirit to understand the word. But you let's, have to believe well, and have faith. And, yeah, I'm but sorry. let's yeah let's clarify that you you need uh, uh, the education to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You know maybe you don't need a PhD and postgraduate, but you need it to the extent that you can communicate to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Obviously James had that uh, with the powerful words that he wrote. Mm -hmm. Well, James wrote some powerful stuff. But well, what about all the other disciples? Are you telling me that they were all powerful? No. The bottom line is that, from what I'm understanding, it was they were given the Holy Spirit, and they were able to to teach and and do the things they did through that. Not that wasn't something on their own. They had to have faith and want it mm. and mm. do it. So we have to understand that all apostles and disciples are separate over here. I'm talking about the disciples, yeah. I'm yeah. talking about the apostles, I'm mm. talking about mm. anyone. Everybody, no one is righteous of their self. That mm -hmm. means it comes from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. It comes from God. It comes from God in our, to our, in our response to God. Absolutely. It's not we something talk, broken well, up. we talked about response mm -hmm. in the beginning because that's why I asked you the question I did because if you just say, Someone shall not, someone may receive, uh, and then end it there. It's like, well, well what I have to do that mm -hmm. I may receive this gift or I may not receive, but you want to know what do you need to do? Mm -hmm. You need to respond. Hear the word and, and that was hear the what word you, and respond. That's, that's right. Hear the word and respond, and that's what you did. That's what you said. <laughs> so, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess after that, we still working on it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll work on it till we. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but oh, it's, it's, you it's do, all you good. Have to work it. But it's I think all... we can say we need both. Both. We need some learning. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, we, we need some education mm -hmm. and the education uh, we, helps you and, teach it better. And we need to be faithful and obedient in yes. God so that we can do yes. His will mm -hmm. using the education that we have. Yeah. That's right. But I think about those that are out here with PhDs that yeah. I hear them talking and pre teaching, but they're not teaching the correct thing. They're not teaching according to the Bible, but they got PhDs. They're Mark. learning they persons. Mark so far until they hit it. They're learning yeah. persons. Don't worry about PhDs, yeah. Yeah. okay? Well, I say that because Wait, you, man. that was. Let me tell you about that. PhDs is concocted by men. Mm -hmm. Well, they're uh, all concocted by men. Right. MDs, so PhDs. So don't you worry about yeah. that. Let's look at the, we try to look at the revelation. Of the, but the Bible has to come from God. That's what we're trying to do. Within but in doing sentence. that, we have to look at uh, Paul's background. That's the reason I'm trying to Yeah, yeah. But I just use those people because there's pe there are people in the Bible that we all know of, you know. But there were others who were not. 
so, I mean, you, you, you take others who were not so learned, as you mentioned, and they did great things in the Bible. With God's help? With, no, they couldn't do it without God's help. They had to believe, and they had to get that revelation. This is what we're trying to do, and that's, the that's what the that church is all about, trying to get us into the revelation. Yes, of, yes. Of, and, yeah, we need into teachers, the revelation we need preachers, of the, we Jesus. need all that. That's not what not we're easy. Mm -hmm. Not easy to get people to the Bible, to even see it. Yes, yes. Uh, because sometimes our tradition can blind us, even though we're in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Can blind us to growth. That's right. That's why growth is necessary. Growing what? And that's why you need grace. Growing grace. It says that uh, really what it says, grow in the grace of Christ. Yeah. Put it childlike. It says, grow in the grace of Christ. Then it says, and grow in the knowledge of Christ. It says growth will mm -hmm. grace of Christ. We, uh, what God is uh, the plan of God is that we become like His Son. Mm -hmm. But it's done through the knowledge it's given, it's written. And all they're getting get what? An understanding. Yes, yes. Get wisdom. Get knowledge. All they're getting get what? An understanding. Mine's got to be in love. All right, let's uh, try to move on here. Keep in mind, grace is given. Given to Paul by God. Mm -hmm. This is basic to the language of grace give. Now, in this first letter to the Corinthians, what do we see? We see the emphasis. See, the Bible has to be emphasized in certain places. Mm -hmm. That's where the teacher comes in. Yes. Paul emphasized truth. Listen to what he says again. The emphasis of truth. Look at the fourth verse again. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God which is given you by Jesus Christ. Did Paul preached Christ, Jesus Christ. What did he preach about oh, Jesus Christ? He tells us very plainly, he says all spiritual blessings are located where? In Christ. All. Not some. All. And that's why he had to preach Christ. Christ. Christ must be made up because the blessing of love is where? It's in Christ. 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 It's the fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Now what about peace? It's in Christ. Christ. You can they tell you to pursue peace. They've been yeah. trying to do it ever since the United States been in existence trying to have peace. Yeah, right. The United States came in an independent nation in 1776, right? Right? Independence yeah, from England. Independence. But what happened? They have been trying, trying to pursue peace. <laughs> Washington, pursuing peace. They got so much tension up there, and mm. turmoil. Yeah. Getting worse and worse. Mm. Because peace cannot be legislated. Peace must come mm. from the gift of God. The gift of God. God who gives peace. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to keep in mind as we are, we are learning the gospel, we want to share it with others. You have to be careful what we are sharing. Mm -hmm. I might be sharing my opinions. That's why we need to stay within the scriptures. Not, it's not opinion of men here. It's the revelation of God. But you have to believe it. Some don't believe it's the revelation of God. They think, oh, you hear, man wrote that Bible. Yeah. Yeah. And they go to say, since we're black folk, it, that's a white man's book. Mm -hmm. I heard so. Oh, I heard. Oh, so. I heard. Yeah. If it's a white man's book, what you gonna read? Mm -hmm. No, all the other books. You gonna read the colored man's book? Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> it's no better. Yeah. It's a white man's book, you know. What about the colored man's book? Yeah. If you say errors in this book, you said the white man's book it could be error in the colored man's book. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's a lot of foolishness, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> we have. We have to. That's why it's. It's, uh, it's, it's faith. That's why the, princi the principle of the Bible is the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. And faith comes to hearing God's word. If you don't believe that this is God's word, then we may as well give it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What you going on? You got to go on your philosophy? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine your philosophy? Brother My Matthew. philosophy? Brother Matthew, <laughs> Satan has a thousand ways to keep us out of the book. That's right. And, oh, that, and that was just another one. Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Keep you away from the book. Well, this is the only book. So all the other stuff is written by man. But you have to believe it. Mm. Well, you said this is the only book. This is the only It's because book. you believe that. Yes, that's right. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because some people say, well, that's well not, they say there's it's more books, books than this. Right. Mm -hmm. So you need other books. Mm -hmm. No, all the other books are written by hey, man. Yeah, yeah, you listen to the world, too. The world has said a whole lot of things. Uh, but. The book. Well, the dean knows that. We attended A&T. That was a mess up at A&T, wasn't it? It's even worse now. <laughs> I know. I mean, it was worse. It was bad back then. But back in 55. It was, you had a mess back in 55. Mm -hmm. The PhDs are leading us to destruction. Yeah. Mm. That's what the PhDs did. They, put, I just put, they got a, a humanist manifesto. And then you and the manuscript stores got different articles. And one of the articles that says, we don't believe in a God, we can save ourselves. That's right. But that's, put it, that's something put out, put out in the society. Yeah. Mm. Whether you realize it or not, you're looking at TV, all the subliminal Subliminal comes fast. Mm -hmm. Put it in your mind, yeah, we can save ourselves. Mm -hmm. No man can save himself. Yeah. We can save ourselves, everybody be living. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of years ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, physically, you don't have any, it, it, It's the sovereign. It's the sovereign one who rules over the whole world, mm -hmm. and every human being is under that sovereign rule, whether they recognize it or not. Mm -hmm. yeah. God is in control. That's what he says. He is. Yeah. He's in control of your life and mine. The experience I just had, the blood vessel broke in my eye oh, yeah, yeah. at a funeral, mm -hmm. and my eye looked like it was bleeding. Wow. Yeah. So I didn't know it. It wasn't hurting anything. Oh, it was hurting? No, no pain? No, no pain. Mm -hmm. When I looked in the mirrors, it actually, my eye was, actually looked like it was bleeding, but it wasn't bleeding out. It was right. bleeding underneath. Oh, right. Yeah. That's right. So, I was uh, getting ready to do the eulogy, mm -hmm. and I didn't know somebody was sitting beside me. They said, "Guy is red." I didn't know how mm -hmm. I was. I got up to go to the restroom. I went in there. My wife first I had to pass by my wife, and she saw it. She said, so I went to the bathroom. I was looking. I said, "Oh, I look. I mean, it looked like, like I was a monster." Is that real? Oh, okay. Oh, Mr. Wow. Campbell came in to, he said, my wife sent me to <laughs> check you out. Uh, and uh, it's actually bleeding underneath. Yeah. So uh, I asked Brother Chris, thank God for Brother Chris. I said, Brother Chris, I, have to, my eye, I need to go to the emergency. So he said, I said, will you take it out? He said, yes, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I got out and went to my primary doctor first. He looked at it, he says, well, it's a vessel broken in your eye. Yeah. And he told me, he says, uh, you can't do anything about it. You have to wait. To, uh, he said, use some Visine. You know the Visine, get yeah. rid of yourself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I left that doctor, went to my ophthalmologist. That's where I was going the first place, but he, uh, he, went, he didn't have an appointment until 2 30. I got in my uh, med. Uh, Primary doctor at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. So I went to him first. Then I left and went to my uh, ophthalmology. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he got the machine, he told me what was wrong. That's what he said. He says, uh, let's give it rest, don't put no drops in it. Uh -huh. Y'all didn't get it, did you? Yeah, I got you. The right message. The right message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Two opinions. One said, put Visine, get the redness out. Yeah. I was like, don't do that, don't put anything in it, just let it rest. Okay. All right. Well, today, God's grace, you see it, you might see some redness, right? I don't see nothing. You didn't have, you didn't, you didn't have to go back to the doctor? You didn't have to go back? No, I'm, I'm, I'm oh. making a point. Oh, okay. God's grace oh. is healing mm -hmm. that eye. 
Okay. Okay. If you'd seen it, if you'd seen it uh, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. He was saying your eyes bleeding, but uh, I don't think it's bleeding now. See, I I didn't know it then. Mm -hmm. You seeing it? Yeah. Is it bleeding? No. No, I I could. Grace. Yeah. They told me it's going to take about seven days. It's going to clear. I think it's pretty clear today. Mm -hmm. You see. Yeah, always God does that work. <laughs> well, you yeah, depend upon what? Grace. The grace, grace. The yes, grace of yes, God. Yes. He, right. He's the one that's doing the healing. That's what yes, I want to do. Yes, yes. So the language of grace is God's doing. Mm -hmm. Look what God has done. It's, it should be our testimony. Mm -hmm. Now look what I've done. I've tried and I'm striving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the more I strive, the more uh, I have to strive. No, that's, that's hard. That's, yeah. that's very difficult. It, it, it makes, hear people talking like it, it makes me tired. Mm. <laughs> I said, well, what, what struggle they under God? You don't have to undergo struggle. You just uh, respond to the grace of God. Mm -hmm. and, and listen, you, listen to the basic response. Preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. yes. How am I going to respond? He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. saved. That's the response. But what about those who don't believe? He that believe it not shall be damned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got promises on both, mm -hmm. both sides. So uh, keep in mind that when we uh, speak about grace of God, this is the whole language. It's, it's what God has done. It's what God is doing in our lives. And whatever God wants to do in the family of man, whatever God wants to do is by his grace. Yes. Whatever is by his grace. By grace. And that grace must be what? Given to us by him. Mm -hmm. This is true concerning eternal life. Listen to Jesus, John 10, 28. And I give mm -hmm. them eternal life. And they, listen to the promise, and they shall never perish. But who gives the eternal life? Jesus. Jesus that I Jesus. give. And the promise is, they shall never perish. <coughs> it's also pertaining to, we talked about the Holy Spirit in our lives, also pertaining to the Holy Spirit. Listen to what Jesus said. This is John 14, 16. This is what it says. I, I will pray the Father, and He will give you another helper, and he, that he may abide with you forever. Mm -hmm. You have to listen to it. Do you hear it? I say, oh, do you hear this? Wow. That takes the struggle out of the way. Yeah. So we know we're always walking around with help. <laughs> and, 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 and reneging. <laughs> walking around with help. That's the unfortunate part. We want to put ourselves in it. Oh, 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 oh me. Oh, that's oh. wrong. Give thanks, instead of saying, poor me, give thanks. Look that's what right. God has done. That's right. Not only that, but look what God is doing. Yes, that's right. It's, it's a constant. That's why, again, in the language, you have participles in the Bible. Present participles, mm -hmm. I diagram it like this. God is continually, unbroken, giving us what we need. Mm -hmm. See, man operates like this. Sometimes, sometimes not. Sometimes. But God doesn't operate like that. Constant. You're looking at me, Sister Dina. I'm looking at you. God's <laughs> grace. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Sight. Sight. God's grace. Yes. Amen. See, you see when she's, you see, you see, wait. I'm moving. In Him, we. Uh, we live, live mm -hmm. and move yeah. and have our existence. Mm -hmm. Hear those words. Mm -hmm. And it was given by Re Revelation to Paul and he's given to us. In him we live. In him we move. Make it a child In him we have our existence. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father and our God, we're so grateful for your gift of grace. Whatever you're doing in our lives is because of your love for us. We ask your continual guidance as we uh, 
better understand your revelation that's given to us. Help us, Lord, in all of our getting, to say get and understanding. And help us throughout the rest of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, man.